Hey guys, I just wanted to do a follow-up video to the Sephora Play uh, 2018 box, September. I have again with me and my husband just so he can help read everything because I can't see. So I have given these products a decent amount of uh, use and I feel like I've gotten a pretty good feel for them. So which one do we want to go with first? All right, first we're going to go with the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water mineral rich atomic heat mask so this is really neat so i've used it once so far just because it's around that time where you get a lot of hormonal breakouts so i didn't really want to push that too much and make my skin freak out but i put a thin layer on i left it on for a few minutes and then it says to wet your fingers to activate the heat and you really feel the heat like, it was a little shocking at first. She yelled from the back of the house. And I was like, oh, okay. But my skin felt so, like, soft and amazing afterwards. It was very soft. Yeah, I made him feel it. <laughs> she came running out to the living room. Feel my face. Yes, yeah, so good. So good. Would like to purchase this. I have to check to see what the full sizes are, but that's awesome. I've never used a mask that self-warms before and has that exfoliation quality with it so i was i'm really excited about that i recommend that 100 percent all right the set the second thing we're going to talk about is the sunday riley title brightening enzyme water cream so i have pretty much used the whole thing here <laughs> i love this there is a tingle right when you put it on i know that's pretty common with a lot of sunday riley products just because of the active ingredients in there but my skin has felt really 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 nice and i feel like the texture has changed just with like the week plus of using it so i really want to get the full size version i know sunday riley is a bit expensive so i'm a little nervous to see how much that's going to cost but i really like this have you noticed anything you look at my face a lot no no okay i wouldn't notice anything though. all right i really like it i felt like it it it's nice it absorbs really quickly because it is gel based it's not like a heavy cream so that was nice i've used it morning and night and i freaking love it it does smell like something really familiar that i can't put my finger on that's been kind of driving me crazy all right, but now i have to smell it and see yeah i can't figure out what it is but i know i've smelled that smell before right is it food no is it fruit? No, it smells like, like I don't know. It smells like, like something my grandma would wear. Okay, like well, a, like a perfume. Like grandmas grandma. are cool. All right, What's the sec, the one? second one is the third one. Or the third one, because I can count, is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Can't at all see that, but there you go. So I've been using this after I moisturize. This is typically the moisturizer that I use. It is SPF 50 because you got to take care of your skin. Sometimes with primers, they tend to pill up after you put them on over a moisturizer. I did not get that with this. I felt like my foundation went on really smoothly and lasted very well. Sometimes I've been trying out a lot of serum foundations. I'm going to make a video on that. And sometimes with those in particular, if you bump your face or like brush up, it'll just kind of like take the foundation right off. And I didn't get that with this. I really do like this. I would like to repurchase this. I'm a little iffy on primers. Sometimes I feel like they don't really do anything, but I do like this a whole lot. Did you feel like that does something? I feel like it did. I, I felt like it held on, but it didn't make me cakey. Oh. Well, I love cake, so. <laughs> and I asked you a few times how my skin looked, and you said it, it looked, looked good. It looked, it looked good. Yeah. All right, here's the next thing. This is the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in Kiss. So I am wearing it today. Bring your lips up there. I have not used this as the multi-use thing. I've used it just as the lip product. Yeah, but you're not a big fan of multi-use no. stuff. I mean, not with, like, cream stuff, just because I'm really oily. This is nice. This lasts really, really well. I think it's a very complimentary shade, at least for my skin tone. It probably would be for a lot of skin tones. The only thing I'm a little confused about is I'm not sure if you're supposed to sharpen it or if that's just it because I can't see, but it feels like you should be able to sharpen it. Has that wooden kind of... Oh, okay. You know. 
So we'll were, see. were you wearing that all day today? Mm, I was not. Oh, okay. We went for like a five mile hike walk. Death march. And I didn't want to wear lipstick. I wore like fake eyelashes because I'm that girl, but I didn't wear lipstick. But I've worn this. Um, it's lipstick would have been too much. <laughs> too, that's over the line. Um, I did wear this the whole day. I can't remember which day it was, but I filmed like four reviews and it lasted really well through me talking and I ate lunch and it lasted really nicely. It wears off really nicely too. It doesn't give you that weird butthole ring. Ladies know what I'm talking about. And man's. Everybody's got a everybody's Yeah, got everyone's. A anyways. All right. The next is the Sephora Collection Lashcraft Big Volume Mascara in Black. Now, I have a question about this. Okay. It says mascara in black. Is there different colors of, ma yes. of mascara? I mm -hmm. did not know that. Some people prefer uh, brown. There's also clear. There's a. It was really popular like in the 80s and 90s, too. Like when I was in high school as well, that there were colored mascaras. Oh, like yeah. silver and white, and they I still have those. I remember that yeah. from high school. So this formula is really thin. I'm not really the biggest fan of it sometimes with mascaras. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but if you, like the longer you have it and you open it and close it a few times, it thickens up a little bit, and then it seems to work. I had curled my lashes, which I never do, and I put like um, the Lancome Lash Primer on top, let that dry, applied this, and my lashes went completely straight. And I don't know if it's, like, the formula or what was going on, but I'm really not the biggest fan of this. I've been using it on my lower lashes, which is fine. Like, I don't really care. They're, they're not going anywhere. They're just there. But if my lashes go straight, that that's not that's not good. I, I much prefer a roller lash. I love roller lash so much. I compare everything to it. So this, not the biggest fan. I'll just be using it up on my lower lashes. I might try it a few more times on my upper lashes just to see if it does anything after it, you know, isn't a brand new mascara anymore. But probably won't repurchase this guy, but who knows? Maybe it'll work for you. All right, so the last scene is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar. I didn't know it was a pump and just sprayed myself with it. Okay. So I smell weird. Yeah, I'm still not... I'm still not sold on this scent. Not a fan. I'm not really a fan. I I don't know. There you go. It's smell just it. smell some more. It smells thumb. different on you. Nice. Um, I just it's very strong. It's very like it is invasive. Musky. It is invasive. It's a lot, and it's a like a really busy scent. I thought maybe wearing it a few times, I'd feel differently. I wore it to the gym. To see if, like, you know... Because everybody smells musky there. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, when it mixes with your body and your, like, personal pheromones, it would change, like, you know, scents. Maybe I'd like it better. And I was like, the whole time I'm on the treadmill, I'm like, oh, I just keep smelling it. I don't like it. Not for me. I like really, like, soft, fruity. I don't like musk. I'm not, like, a big musky person. I don't really like flowers too much there's a chanel perfume that's flowers that i really do like yeah the lady gaga perfume i like that one i really like that one i like um one of my favorites mark jacobs daisy i really like that i didn't think i'd like that one but i did i got a sample through my play box but i think that's about it so this is a pretty solid little sampling i'm really happy with it uh, honestly I'm... out of the out of the six four of them you will use yeah that you really enjoyed and a fifth a fifth one the mask the mascara something you'll use it up i'll use it up totally but that perfume is going I'm, in the garbage yeah i'm not a fan i'm sorry victor and rolf but that is that's a swing and a mess yeah it does it's like it smells different now yeah now, it changes scent but it's not like a oh, yeah, scent like a, that you want it to be it's like a chameleon perfume <laughs> yeah very strong but but if you like it you like it so thank you again for reading everything off i very much appreciate it i'm gonna be a makeup expert by the end of this yes i'm gonna open a separate youtube channel called bearded makeup let us know down below if you'd like to see a video <laughs> of my husband does my makeup because we keep talking about that oh god that's gonna be tragic i think it'd be funny oh. but um 
what did you guys get in your box? Have you used up your products or at least gotten a good feel for them? Let me know down below. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave me a comment, like the video if you did like the video, and don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. If you've got a different box, tweet us a picture of what you got in your in your box. I'm very interested to see what the difference is between between the between the boxes and if there's like a base kind of like thing they put in every different box. It makes you very interesting. Yeah, there might that. be a base. Yeah, like, like, like they pick they just... like the like the Sephora collection thing. I'm sure that would make probably sense. Probably in every in every in every box or maybe like the lip thing is in every yeah. box too. Let us know. Alright guys. Have a good day.